Keytainment with a short roundabout, Tapest Arms, some basics and recommendation for free to play players and join us. So let's start directly with Rare because that we get a lot of moles. As you've seen, we have an attack and a defense part. We have all three types, so Rare, Epic and Legendary. But what we do with the Rare ones is if you have the mold, craft them and then you go to collection after you craft them. And what we do is re recycle them because they are absolutely useless. Even free to play players and join us do not care because you only can get them for infantry, but the ones you want at minimum on your infantry, on your rider and on your hunter is at least the purple one. And that is mainly because if you check out the additional stats you can get is that is really low in comparison with, for example, the purple ones. The purple ones have already up to 35% at troop attack, defense, or up to 20% at troop health and lethality. And then we come to the really great additional stats. And of course, you can get up to three additional stats versus on the epic one, you can only get up to two. So that is why we recycle all the rare ones and keep as long as needed the purple ones because my recommendation for free to play player and low spender is have them on the marches where you do not have golden ones and of course you won't have that many golden ones so that is why i recommend always check that you have both of a set on top because then you get an additional stat and that is for example here for the rider hero 24 percent on the hero attack. Once you can change to gold, get a gold one, use it on this. But also on top, do not level purple because that is waste of nanomaterial. Nanomaterial seems to be easy because we can get it, of course, at some event like Survival Royale as part of a reward, as well as in the store you can get it. But what you want to buy in the store is the gold mold, the crate and the essence because that is really rare material. That is where you get the skill, but we come to that point soon. Just to showcase, for example, if you want to level up what I definitely not recommend, blue one, you are investing 30 of the nanomaterials and you won't get 30 back because if we go up to 10 and check to recycle, it is on level 10 and you get 28 back. So you're losing two doesn't sound a lot right but the two you're maybe need for more because on the purple ones if you want to level them up they cost up to 150 nano up to level 10 and the also difference is at purple so at epic you can get a special skill you can't get that on the rare ones that is why i highly recommend do delete all of them because what you want is at minimum three strong marches why three? Because we have Preserve Rate, you have King of the Hill, you have Pass of Water, only two. We have Survival Royale, where we use three. So you want minimum three really strong marches, and that is why I recommend focus on your top three and do not care that much about the fourth, fifth, and sixth. I also do not recommend to level up your purple or epic part because it will cost you 150 nano to bring it up to level 10. And of course, we can also check how much we will get back and that is 140, but you're losing again 10 of the nanomaterial. And now we're coming to the next point because the upgrade cost for the legendary part. And that is from level one, crafting it up to level 10, it is 450 of nanomaterial. And that is a lot you have to invest. And if you have six times use the purple ones, you already lose 60 of your nanomaterial. That is what I would call wasting it because free to play player low spender won't have that. So this is why I highly recommend to focus really get up your legendary part. If you think it's best, I don't have that much legendary for a long time and I want to push my epic parts at the beginning, push your epics, but really be aware that you might miss exactly those small amounts due to recycling issues. So that's about it. And of course, what you want is when you check out, for example, the attack part. And at Legendary, we have the four additional stats. That one here is not as good because we have two purple stats. That is really worse because it has three and combat morale on top is not that strong. But once you have it at level 10, you can ascend it to get the special skill. 
but I wouldn't do that on that one and I wouldn't do it on this one. But I have done it on that one and I was super lucky because I got an ultra rare skill which provides 118% damage dealt to all enemies at the start of the battle. So this is a really, really strong. That is one of the 4% ultra rare ones. And then there we have 36% on that one. But if you have one with four gold stats, and of course it depends on which type of stats you have and the range it has, but that is a really, really strong Tempest Arm. I would keep and put it on the hero. I hope this ideas and this structure helps you for your team.